You know, when you're dealing with these crazy dogs, um, sometimes hitting them, well, when you're dealing with an attack dog and you see that it has latched on to someone's leg or arm, sometime, or any part of the body, some of these dogs will not let go, no matter how hard you hit them, unless you knock them out with something. But uh, a lot, some of these dogs, some of these pits, some just some dogs, period, will not let go. And uh, I've said before in the video, you have to choke their ass out. They going to let go then when they can't breathe. But check out this example right here. Like their family members or whatever. But recognize your dog when you're walking it, other stray dogs or dogs that are out. I get it. You pick your dog up, but you better have something between, oh, I'm just going to get my dog high because we see this kind of thing happen again and again and again in real life. That, that if an aggressive dog wants to get after the dog, what you're doing here is you're putting yourself at risk for the sake of your animal. And I think that is bad risk taking. I think that that is a poor risk maneuver. So what would you rather have? Well, you don't want just to let your dog get mauled or whatever. This is why I carry an OC spray and a firearm, frankly, on walks and even when I walk to my dogs. So this is an idea to keep them away. Now, listen, here's a spot right here that now you get this big aggressive dog that's in your way. Before that dog ever got close to you, this would have been the perfect time. Oh man, that dog is getting aggressive and near my little dog and will probably hurt my dog. That's when the OC spray comes out. Before he gets on top of you here, you get that OC spray and you boot that dog right on the snoot with OC and that will send that dog away and won't even injure it. About 90% of times, a dog is like a human. An OC spray will be very effective at thwarting its aggression, completely changing its behavior and doesn't injure. It will simply hurt for, a, for a, you know maybe an hour, hour and a half. Now then, I wanna say as we keep on going here, now the dog is not attacking a, a, another dog. So, so you know, if you at this point said, wait a minute, it was after my dog or whatever, before this, using a firearm would not have been allowable. You can't use a firearm to protect property and your animals are property. However, now this dog is attacking this person. Now the dog is attacking her. And when that dog is attacking you, a dog bite can be considered a use of deadly force. And certainly you have the right to keep yourself from great bodily harm from being taken to the hospital for stitches. And so you have that. Now, instead, this woman goes all Rafiki and, you know, uh, put, puts the dog up like Simba here and <laughs> is still worried about the dog. I got to be honest with you, the better strategy here, if you don't have OC, if you don't have a firearm, if you don't have the fight in you, is to sacrifice your dog, is to put your dog down at the very least. So hopefully this dog gets off you and then you can worry about protecting your dog without getting mauled yourself. And I know some people are gonna be frustrated at me for that advice, but you are more important than your dog. Certainly not your children, that would be different with children, but again, you are more important than your dog. I think this is just poor risk taking and poor analysis of the value of- Look man, people are so fucking dog crazy. Like my boy said, dog nuts. They will sacrifice their children to protect their dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't, I'm not a dog person. I can't relate to dog people. I just can't. Some of these crazy people will sacrifice their children. I'm telling you what I know. For a damn dog. They need to be locked up and done away with just with that damn dog. That's what they need to be. Anyway. Of human life here. Now, they've got the dogs away, okay, fine. You see this woman laying down here, and, and I think, yes, I want her to get after protecting herself. That this said, so it can be very painful to take a dog bite. We see that in police canine stuff all the time. Incredible. Well, see, this is what I'm talking about. She don't know what to do. You gotta choke the fucking dog, man. You gotta get behind the dog and choke his ass out. That's what a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all don't know what to do. I'm here to teach y'all what to do when it comes to a scenario like this. When your loved one is getting attacked, you can hit it. What if it don't let go? Try to hit it, see if it'll let go. But then if you hit it, it might attack you. Then you're going to be in that position. And the lady that's attacked not going to be able to help you. I would think the, the best thing would be to do Put your big boy socks on, 
get behind that motherfucker and choke his bitch ass out. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it'd be good if you had some pepper spray. It'd be good if you had a gun. You could shoot it. A knife, you can cut his fucking throat. Whatever. If you only have your bare hands and there's time is running out, get the best option. You can hit him on the nose. You can also gouge his nose, put two fingers up his nose. I've heard people say put the, put some up, put your fingers up his butt. They'll let go, put your fingers up his nose. You know, you, it's a lot of different, gouge his eyes. You can do it all. You can try it all. Gouge his eyes, put your finger up his butt. Um, put your fingers up his nose and choke his ass out. Choking him out would probably, uh, what I would do, I'd choke that bitch out. Choke his ass out. If he, he, When he let go, still hold on to his ass and choke his ass out. Kill him if you have to. Choke his ass out so that motherfucker can't attack nothing else. You got to put a fucking mean... You got to put a crazy dog down. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no time to try to be... Uh, the, the, try to be in a humane society. Nah, this is protect myself society. Incredibly painful and very difficult to act. But you got to recognize, no one's probably going to come to save you. This woman had somebody come and help finally. But you got to get after protecting yourself. And that means counter-attacking this dog and getting him to let you go. That means attacking him, not just on his mouth there, but absolutely drilling this dog with punches, with kicks. She don't know what to do. She don't know what to do. It's with eye gouges, with, with anything you can to get this dog to, to get off the bite and however that works. Now, of course- She useless. She's fucking useless. She's clueless and useless. Just like 99% of dog owners out there in the world Completely fucking clueless, completely fucking useless. They shouldn't have dogs. This is the main reason the world is full of chaos because of clueless ass people that want to own these strong dogs and they don't have a clue on how to control the dog. They don't have a clue on how to, um, annihilate a, a, a violent situation they have no clue on how to deal with a violent situation when it comes to their dog they panic some of them are even fucking run and let them kill their loved ones but yet they want a dog Oh, my dog. I had it since he was a puppy. Oh, it was so good. It protected us. It protected us. Yeah. Now, your fucking loved one is bleeding to death. Because you want a little stupid fucking dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I don't get people, bro. I really don't. Not my dog. You know, they, they love to say that shit. Not my dog. Ooh, hey, man, I hate people. I really, I, I, you know, I was, dog lovers, you know, whatever, bro. I mean, people in general annoy me, but clueless ass people that can't control the fucking mutts should be locked the fuck up. They should be banned from ever having a fucking dog. You know what I'm saying? When you have a pit or any bully, you have to motherfucking control that bastard. And even then, it's not a guarantee. He ain't gonna go off. Example, Caesar Milan. Let me continue. This man comes in, and I think he does something here that a lot of people don't think about. And here you go. Don't think about A lot of people don't think about Yeah, I think about it. I'm conscious. I think about it. I thought about it. Everybody needs to breathe. And this man is a fucking hero. Look what he do. And then he chokes this dog out who won't let go. And this is very possible. The only thing I would add here to what he's doing is rather than kind of picking the dog up, I would actually smash the dog down. As soon as you get your arm around him, lay down flat on that dog and absolutely smash the life out of him. 
not, not to kill him or whatever, but to get the wind to get out of him and to get the fight out of him and get him off. That was a very effective strategy and it works. We've seen it work several times. And again, the smash will keep that dog from being able to get away. I also like here that once the dog went out, his purpose wasn't to kill or anything like that, though I wouldn't have minded. You know, in reality, again, a rabid dog attacking people was not cool by my book. He should have killed, killed it. Why the fuck that you let it get up and get away so he can kill somebody else, so he can attack somebody else? He's going to live to attack another day. You need to kill this fucking dog, man. I don't know why you just let him get up. He could have got up and attacked somebody else, man. Away from him. He doesn't just sit there. He gets away. So we got everybody. Break his foot. Oh, that's another thing. You got to break his fucking leg so he can't. Uh, be able to to attack somebody break his fucking legs so now he can't he can't be uh he can't be strong enough and fast enough to go and injure somebody else let that motherfucker hobble break two legs break how many legs you need to break and no no break how many legs you want to break make sure that motherfucker is immobile and can't attack nobody else that's a good thing jump fucking stomp on his fucking leg Just kick his fucking stump on that back stomp on that bitch until you hear the bones cracking that motherfucker that's how you fix his ass you let him get up like that he could have easily just went into another attack now he can go and find another child he can find a child somewhere to attack. I, I think it was irresponsible for that man not to kill this fucking mutt. Away in this moment, and I think that was good strategy. But let's have some tools on our person because, again, having that ability to do so when it's away from us is a better solution in this particular case. Let's make sure we think about what happens during a dog attack and cover our See? ass. He he ran away, and he can go attack somebody else. Like, that was stupid to just let him get up and go. Could have killed his ass. You should have killed him. Should have fucking killed him. Dog with punches, with kicks, with eyes. See, she could have been. She could have. See, while she up there panicking, she could have been breaking, him, breaking his legs, kicking his fucking legs. That's another thing. Kick his fucking legs. Kick, kick down. Like you're stomping, and you can break that fucking leg. That bastard won't be able to run. He'll hobble. He'll hop around. He won't get far. He won't be able to hurt anybody else. His hobbling ass. Make that bitch hobble. He could have broke his leg, choke his ass out, put your fingers up his nose, gouge his eyes out, put your fingers up his butt. You know? Do whatever you got to do to injure this bastard. Just hitting him, punching him, probably not going to do it. In a lot of cases, punching these motherfuckers when they got a hold of something, they see red, they don't even feel those punches. Especially from a, a, a weak female. Now anybody, you can take a baseball bat and hit these motherfuckers. Sometimes they won't even feel it. You hit that motherfucker on top of the head, though, you probably can knock them out. But you got to make sure you don't you don't hit the person that it has in his mouth. You know what I mean? He I gets just can't away. stand these demonic ass dogs that's biting people for no reason. And y'all want to own these demons. Check oh, this out though. Here's another one. Oh, shit. Hold up. Check this out. Boom, you knocked out, bitch. Boom, you knocked oh, out, please, bitch. This, I wish he would have uh, took that four by four and hit this old bitch over here. Uh, that's that's filming. That's what he should. He should have hit her next. Cause she's another pit bull. You hear her? You hear her? Stop, stop, stop. This man fighting for his life. Three pit bulls would have killed this man. They would have 
ripped his arms and legs off. They would have killed him. And she told me, stop. He should have drug her ass out the car and throwed her ass over there. You know, these, these pit love, these dog lovers are some sick bastards. Some of these motherfuckers are some sick bastards. You know, I mean, to have a pit bull, something got to be fucking wrong with you anyway. You're not all there in the head. You know what I mean? You, you're not all there. You don't need no fucking pit bull. You don't, you don't need no fucking dog like that. Shit, what the Boom. I need me a two by four. That's one bitch dead. That's one bitch knocked down. Oh. Boom. <laughs> bye bye. Ronnie Garvin. Hands of stone, baby. Two by four of stone. Knocked his ass cold. Fuck. She up there. She out like she wanted the pit bulls to win. What the fuck? Man. Oh my God. Like I said, he should have hit her. Knocked her ass out too. Boom. See, she 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 was for the pit bulls, bro. This was the. Stop, stop, stop. Tell me, stop. Why you ain't say stop when the pit bulls was attacking him? You ain't say stop then. No, stop, stop, stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all stop. No, 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 no. They coming back. I don't Lord, know what he has. Shit. What the fuck? That's what how you. Fuck? That's how you. That, that, that's how you deal with dog, aggressive dogs. You see how he's smart. He got on top of a vehicle, got on top of a car, and protected himself. Now, there was one case where this man was getting attacked by pit bulls. A car was right beside him, and this idiot didn't even have the sense enough to jump on top of the, top of the car. Oh, wait, no! Stop, 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 stop! Oh, that bitch, she get on my nerves. I can't, I can't. But, yeah, when you, when you got dogs chasing you, jump on top of a fucking car and kick their ass if they try to climb on top of that car. Now, here's something that I bought. I didn't buy this particular one, but this is something like, this is a, a, a ultrasonic dog, dog repellent. Flashlight features dog train. It's supposed to uh, emit a sound, a high frequency sound when a approach, when a aggressive dogs approach you they don't like that sound and they run away from it so you can buy stuff like this on ebay but uh training i got one today can also used as a dog training device ultrasonic wave reaches up to 125 decibels audible to dogs but not to humans stops dangerous dogs effectively target animals up to 20 meters away Eliminate excessive barking and jumping on people. Effectively stops aggressive, barking and threatening dogs from meters away. Multiple functions. The flashlight can be used as a torch while outdoors. Stop clawing. Yeah, I know this is a bad example of a video because these dogs are not aggressive. But you can search on YouTube and see these type of devices being used on aggressive dogs. And, uh... It works. I don't. I'm not gonna say it works for all dogs, but uh, or for every dog. But every dog is different. Um, but uh, you just look at the reviews on Amazon and uh, you know, pick what you want. I got one coming in the mail. I'm, you know, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a test it out, cause I'm a delivery driver. I drive. I do. I deliver things. All right. So. I've de I've dealt with dogs. I haven't dealt with a um, a dog that bit me, but I've dealt with some dogs. Luck uh, a lot of time, you know. Luckily, they've been in the house. I I I put it that way. Luckily, they was in the house because they they would have attacked me if they was if they came out outside of that house. Here's another situation. Oh, let me let, let me find a situation where this guy, this idiot man, was walking at night. Uh, and I, this is it right here. 
Bro, you got a car right there. Yeah, Just jump on top yeah, of the car. Neighbor Daryl Berryman grabbed a sharp tree trimmer from his garage and raced into action. They was killing the man. And all I could do was try to save him. Let me go back. By two fit for his morning walk when he is confronted by two vicious pit bulls. Bro, what are you doing? First of all. Out for his morning walk. Okay. You got to be aware of your surroundings, man. Carry something with you. You're going to walk. Carry your gun. Carry a stick. Carry pepper spray. Carry something with you when you're walking any neighborhood. You got to have something on you, man. Because you never know what's out there. Not only pits. It could be any type of dog. Any big dog can attack you. And there's a car right there. When he is confronted by two vicious pit bulls surveillance video he could have jumped his ass on top of that car those shows the off could have kicked he could have used his legs too and kicked off leash dog but you know it, when you got two of these motherfuckers it, it, it's real hard I ain't gonna lie one one is hard enough but two your odds are very difficult your, your odds are are less likely you're going to come out winning in that situation, especially with no weapons on you. One, you probably can wrestle that motherfucker and choke his ass out, you know. But two, uh, you might, uh, the odds are very, the, the odds are in the pit bull's favor. Dogs aggressively barking. The frightened 67-year-old. He had a chance to jump on that fucking car. He doing all that back and back. Get your ass on top of that car, man. Dogs are going to slip on top of a car. They ain't going to try to jump on that. If they try to jump, they're going to slip and fall off. Old man tries to back away. Then the pit bulls lunge. Watch as the man desperately tries to escape, but the pit bulls are out for blood. They knock him to the ground, then maul him, biting his back, head, and arms. The man tries to get up, but he's helpless. The only thing I heard that man say was, help me, help me. Neighbor Daryl Berryman wow. grabbed a sharp tree trimmer. That's why, y'all, you gotta have something on you, man. Trimmer from his garage and raced into action. They was killing the man. And all I could do was try to save him. Cause he kept saying, help, help, help. When Daryl approached with his makeshift weapon, the dogs take off. Daryl knocked on another neighbor's door for help, but look, that dog is lurking, ready to pounce. The guy was right here, this that? area right in here was covered with blood. Neighbor Elmer Levine is a retired Houston deputy sheriff. He sprung into action armed with a gun. I told him and his family to get behind me. The lawman had 911 on the line when the dogs returned. He said he had no option but to open fire, wounding one of the dogs. Seems to me like they did somebody had been feeding them gunpowder or something. I ain't never seen dogs that this this vicious. They had these words of comfort for the man. I was trying to say, man, hold on, hold on, man. The ambulance coming, the ambulance coming. Just hold on, man, please, please. Police and paramedics arrive on the scene and bring the 68-year-old victim to the hospital. He's now in stable condition, FaceTiming with his family. Now these two men are being called heroes for saving a neighbor, fighting for his life against two vicious pit bulls. If it had been a minute later, he wouldn't have been alive. That is so sad, bro. Surveillance video obtained by WLWT. Children playing outside in Price Hill as a pit bull mix goes on the attack, grabbing the See? leg of an 11. See what I'm saying? These kids don't know what to do in this situation. This this kid got this big ass dog, strong dog. He don't know what to do in this situation. They need to be trained on how to handle dogs. Big, strong dogs. They have no clue on how to handle their own fucking dog. Year old boy, and most of you, 99% of you bastards out there, have no clue on how to handle your fucking dog. Not letting go. And then See, all this shit, all they had to do, all this guy had to do, get behind this motherfucker and choke his ass out. He wasting time. He punching them. It ain't doing. It, it it's ineffective. 
and biting a 38 year old man as he all that trying to pull his mouth pull his uh, open his mouth up is not gonna boy that don't work bro you just wasting time when you could have choked this bitch ass out stick a finger up his butt or whatever choke it break his legs choke his ass out probably would be the best response I fighting off. He don't know. He don't know. See, you have to know what you're doing when you got these motherfuckers. You have to know. You have to be conscientious. Know what the fuck you getting into when you got a big dog, strong dog like this. Know how to, you know, know how to uh, calm the not calm the situation. Know how to take away the threat of a situation. I'm not saying that shit right. Know how to unarm a situation. Disarm. Know how to disarm a situation. You know what I'm saying? When you have a big, strong dog. Y'all have to know what y'all doing. But that's the world, man. world is a shit bag. And this is what we have to deal with. Off the dog. We just see the, the dog start attacking the little boy. And he was jogging him inside the road. Look, he don't know what to fucking do. I don't know what to do. Choke him, bitch. You got all this time in the world. Get behind this bastard and choke the life out of his ass. He got that poor kid foot. Pulling it. None of them know what to do. Charles Rose says he was injured as he tried to save the child. I was right, dear. Look, look at they pulling. When they could have been choking, they could have been choking. They just pulling. They have, they clueless, bro. So he started attacking me, so I tried to get him off. So I did get enough strength to flash him like that. They still Police. pulling. He's still pulling instead of concentrating on choking this motherfucker. This list the four-year-old. You got him by the neck, but you're not concentrating on choking him. You're just concentrating on trying to hold him and, and pull him. As a vicious animal, I talked to a woman who says she was caring for the animal and said he's a friendly dog and is up to date on all of his shots. She says the teenager who was walking the dog said other children were taunting the animal, which caused it to attack. But here's You hear that shit? They were taunting the animal. To attack. But here's what, which caused it to attack. Who was walking the dog said So it's okay, if, so it's okay, it's supposed to attack when it's being taunted. That motherfucker need to be put down and killed. That's what needs to happen. If you taunt something and it can turn on you, if it, if you can taunt something as a pet and it can kill you, you don't need to have it. Other children it's were not taunting the animal. Which they love they love to blame kid. It, it's y'all fault for taunting the animal. They wasn't taunting shit. And even if they was. He ain't supposed to go out. Dogs are not supposed to do that. They need to be put down. Needs to be put fucking down. And that lady, she can, she can be put down too. Talking about taunting the animal. Was, it don't take no taunting no animal for a motherfucker like that to attack. Walking the dog said other children were taunting the animal, which caused it to attack. But here's what others in the neighborhood tell us. Like, it was thick, it was a round dog. I mean, it was big, it had to be at least 100 pounds. He was definitely in attack mode, yeah. He was not letting go of his victim. Okay. One had the shovel, one had the chair. Yeah, and they, they uh, uh, hit right. the dog until he stopped trying to attack people. As people in this price- That's what you get for standing there. Why are you just standing there? Anyway. Attack mode, yeah. He was not letting go of his victim. Okay. One you need to be getting out the fucking way. One had the shovel and one had the chair. Yeah, and they, they uh, uh, hit the dog until he stopped trying to attack people. As people in this price... They could have been breaking his legs. All that time. Dog, I mean, it was you see, all that time while they got I talked to dog. a woman who says she would... He could have been breaking... That's so what I'm saying. You got to break... me, so... You got to be breaking these motherfuckers' legs. Look, they got all that time in the world. One of these kids, while they just sitting up there watching, could have been breaking his legs, too. I tried to get him off. You know what I'm saying? They could have been kicking off, and stomping so on his legs, did. injuring his legs, getting something to break his legs, a bat or a hammer, 
so that motherfucker can't run no more. Get enough strength to flash him like that. Police list the four-year-old pit as a vicious animal. I talked to a woman who says she was caring for the animal and said he's a friendly dog and is up to date on all of his shots. She says the teenager who was walking the dog said other children were taunting the animal, which caused it to attack. But here's what others in the neighborhood tell us. Like, it was thick, it was a round dog. I mean, it was Even if they were taunting it, taunting it or not, dogs attack whether they are taunted or not. No excuse for your crazy ass dog to go kill. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and if you're going to take a dog out, put a muzzle on it. That's another thing. Y'all need to have muzzles on y'all bully breeds, on y'all big strong ass dogs when y'all go out. When y'all walk them out in public. Put muzzles, it should be a law. Your dog needs to be muzzled. It should be a law. Your dog has to be muzzled or you are, your ass going to get fined. You going to pay a fine. Your dog ain't muzzled. You going to pay a fine or maybe even go to jail. Every dog, especially these strong dogs, need to have a muzzle on whenever they go out. You know what I'm saying? Whenever they go out walking. They need to have muzzles on. When you let them out to roam the neighborhood, they need to have a fucking muzzle on their fucking mouth. The big it had to be at least 100. I, 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 I don't understand. This shit just make you want to stay in the house. I don't understand the laws in this country that just lets this shit happen. You know? You know, they just let this shit like this happen. They, they don't even address... The situation pro properly, man. Her pounds. He was definitely in attack mode. Yeah, he was not letting go of his victim. Okay. So one had the shovel, and one had the chair. Yeah, and they they uh, uh, hit the dog until he stopped trying to attack people. You could have easily broke them scrawny ass legs. As people in this Price Hill neighborhood try to reconcile in their mind, look, he's so tired. He he, he got to go sit his ass down. He, he he no good. He is no more good. He ain't even trying to help no more. What happened? They also are thinking about what could have been. I've never seen a dog attack somebody like that. Look, at he ain't he ain't doing that enough. That's the grown man. Now Charles Rowe told us he had to get pathetic, man, pathetic. Cause they don't know how to choke a dog out. If you would have choked the fucking dog out, case would have been closed. Broke his legs, case would have been closed. But see, you get you have to know what to do in situations. You have to always know what to do in situations. If not, you fucked. Big, big facts, man. Peace out.